It's difficult to comprehend the sheer quantity of individual parts to complete something as large and complicated as a 747. But sure enough, as many small and insignificant looking bits and pieces are progressively combined, larger and more identifiable sections start to emerge. In the case of the 747-8, the final main sections are referred to as Section 41 and 42 that are joined to make the forward part of the fuselage. Section 44 and the primary wing structures that are mated to create the center part of the aircraft. And finally, Section 46 and 48 that are combined to make the rear fuselage. These three huge sections all meet up at the final join station where the aircraft starts to take on its final shape. However, the aircraft at this point is still far from being complete. There are thousands more steps before the aircraft can leave the factory. By the time it is completed, the aircraft will measure 250 feet 6 inches long, have a wingspan of 224 feet 7 inches, and stand 63 feet 6 inches tall at the tip of its tail. It's during these early stages of production where a lot of the interior advances of the 747-8 are most noticeable. The most complicated and the highest tech part are the wings, which also account for a large part of the plane's overall operating efficiency. The 747-8 wing is no different and it boasts huge advancements over the 747-400. Some of the new wing features include a redesigned Kruger flap system on the leading edge, a simplified and lighter flap configuration on the trailing edge, and an overall increase in span by over 13 feet, capped off, of course, by graciously swept raked wingtips. The wing's single-slotted outboard flaps and double-slotted inboard flaps not only save fuel burn because they're lighter, but also reduce maintenance costs compared to the complex triple-slotted system on the Dash 400. Powering the new line of jumbo jets will be General Electric Gen X 2B67 high bypass turbofan engines, which are the sole power plant available on the 747-8. These engines bring 21st century 787 performance and efficiency levels to the aircraft and will be rated at 67,000 pounds of thrust, a far cry from the original 747's 46,500 pound thrust power plants. Externally, the engine is unmistakable thanks to the sawtooth design that lowers the plane's noise signature by more effectively mixing high-speed exhaust with the surrounding airflow. Some of the updated systems in the 747-8 cockpit include a new multifunction display, a new flight management computer interface, and electronic checklists like those first introduced on the 777. The overall feel and layout of the cockpit is very close to the 747-400, allowing the two models to maintain a common type rating, greatly reducing training costs. <laughs>